Take a look at this. So this is third down and long, which is defined as seven or more yards. Browns have been in that a lot, 34, 35 times. They're five of 35 on uh, third down and seven plus yards. 34.3% worst mark in the NFL. You want to know why the offense is struggling? Because they can't get, they can't stay on the field. They can't convert third downs. Those are the, those are the two biggest stats. Look at what your defense allows on third down. Look at what your offense does on third down. That'll tell you if you're winning or losing. Yeah, I think third downs and red zone are always the two big areas I point out each year where if it, both offensively and defensively, if your defense is getting off the field on third down and if your defense is holding opponents to field goals in the red zone, I think that's the mark of a good defense. If your offense conversely is converting third downs and putting together longer drives and, you know, punching it in for six when they're in the red zone, I think that's the mark of a good offense. It, I, I don't want to boil football, which is obviously a very complicated game down to just those two stats necessarily. But I, I do think there's a reason players and coaches talk about those two areas as being key for their respective groups. Um, and yeah, it's, it's been, a, it's been a struggle to, for, to stay ahead of the sticks for this group. Some of that is the, the, the inability against some of these teams to run the football. Some of that is, I think they, they don't commit to the run enough to, you know, stay ahead of the sticks and, and have that be a, a, a weapon for them. And I, I do have to kind of wonder how that changes or what that looks like when Nick Chubb is back out there, because he's a guy that we've grown to trust, uh, on the field to, to make those plays and to you know keep an offense kind of in a good spot when it when it comes to moving the stick so um it's very interesting it's all very fluid right now with this team four weeks in i still don't think we have a good sense of what their identity is particularly on the offensive side of the ball and yeah they these are all questions they're going to have to answer pretty quickly here because at one and three it feels like the season is is very much on the brink for them